got a lot of learning outcomes from here, especially um, this is for me personally, it's been my first time being out of state. So, and it's a totally different environment. So it's been a really good learning experience, I think for most of us. It's been a really good learning experience, I think for most of us, um, taking us from our, our comfortable zone and taking us into a whole different um, environment. That way we can kind of learn how to adjust the organ counterparts with this new RIPTOA relief in place transfer of authority um, new concept. I'd say the transition went really well. Um, you know, we synced together. I think it, it went pretty pretty smoothly. In terms of what Oregon has done and what Hawaii has done, we've been able to take what we do and learn how to meld it together. And in, in a situation like this, in a, in a small exercise, in, in a three-day exercise, 72-hour period, we have to learn how to abandon the things that don't work and gravitate to the things that do quickly in order to get the mission done. We all have the similar objective, which is saving lives. That's the priority of the EMED-CM. But in terms of how we do it, we have to get a common language, common picture. And I think we're all working towards the same method of, of the same mission. So that's how, it, how we're able to do it together. We have to learn how to acclimate. We have to learn how to, to, to get ready a lot sooner than we normally would because there's a lot of logistical issues involved with working in, in a different type of climate where you have very cold, sub-freezing temperature. One of the things that we're learning is how to take this model and see how we can turn and, and utilize it back home. We have Hawaii here, uh, California here, Oregon here, all across from uh, throughout the country. I think there's other represents from uh, Alabama, as far as Alabama, and it gives you a platform to try and work together on a similar goal, a similar uh, similar mission, which is saving lives, utilizing our system. They're, they're learning how to acclimate. They're learning how to just learn how to walk in the snow. And it sounds crazy, but if you're not used to walking in the snow, you see a lot of people slipping and falling. You multiply that by just having to carry patients or having to do your regular job in this type of climate. They've learned how to do it. In terms of work, working with other other states, it's a great opportunity. And we have a lot of young young airmen that have never got an opportunity to, to branch out and do things outside of a deployment. And this is giving them a chance to learn how to how to talk, how other people talk, how other people act. It's a great inter 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 interagency interorganizational type of. Hi, I'm Major Pamwina from the Hawaii Air National Guard, 154th Medical Group, Medical Operations Officer. I'm here with all my friends and sometimes family from the Hawaii Air Guard and Hawaii Army Guard trying to support the uh, Vigilant Guard mission.